Shalom and welcome to another edition of Great Millstone Mailbag. Here to feed the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, of whom we do worship, honor, and praise. And when I say we, I mean the hopeful elect. Now, in this edition, this will be a follow up to this video here, Trees, in which I explained that the use of the word tree, as in the book of Genesis, the third chapter, in the eighth verse, where it says, Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord power amongst the trees of the garden. The use of this word tree was a metaphor for people. Now you're going to have some individuals that's going to have a problem with that because they believe that it was just Adam and Eve. They'll make the argument that how can you say that this use of the word trees represents people when it was just Adam and Eve that was created. And uh, this is where they err, not knowing the scriptures or the mysteries of the Heavenly Father. Because, and I've made the statement before, the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, and the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, is two of the hardest books to understand. Because they're filled with allegories, metaphors, and symbols. And this is the case with this word tree or trees here. So, in a succinct manner, and the word succinct, as you see here, you know me, I'm a, you know, well, I learned that from uh, Elder Apostle Tahar. I'm a stickler for words and, and their meanings. And I also believe that it's not a bad idea to build up your vocabulary because the, our stock and trade is in words. In this thing of ours, our stock and trade is in words. So it wouldn't hurt to learn your words and to learn your meaning of your words. And we have tools such as the etymology, etymology Online Dictionary, which gives you the purest explanation of a word. Okay, So in this case, in a succinct manner, as you see here, succinct, especially of something written or spoken briefly and clearly expressed, so in a succinct manner, I will try to explain that there was just more than Adam and Eve. And I will start with the book of uh, Genesis, the first chapter. And when you understand that there was more than just Adam and Eve, then if you get the full understanding of that, then the explanation of this word tree or trees here will seem plausible to you that it's talking about people and not actual trees. Now, the creation of man starts really in the fifth day. Okay, uh, Genesis, the first chapter, the 20th verse. And the powers said, notice I say power because it's dealing with, you know, the, the, the Most High, His Son, His only begotten Son, and the angels, which created everything. Pretty much Yahweh Shine is and the angels, which Yahweh Shine himself was the first angel first spirit created that's why it says powers because if you go to the next chapter over you will see in the fourth verse Genesis 2 and 4 you will see Lord God okay now that's talking about Yahweh himself we go to the Hebrew you see uh, Lord God here Yahweh Allah okay Yahweh now prior before the book of Genesis 2 and 4, you just saw the word God. The word Lord God doesn't appear until Genesis 2 and 4 because that's talking about the Most High Himself. You go back to the first chapter, you'll see God, 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 because that's talking about the powers. So, Genesis 1 and 20, and the powers said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. So the key part is, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life. And that is man. 
okay right along with the animals anything that moves but in this case man is not um, left out in this verse this is the beginning of man being created and those men man and woman were called Adam as we will see now there's a and I always speak about this you know the rock group uh, Pink Floyd released an album back in the 70s entitled Shine On and the cover of the album shows individuals just coming up out of the waters now they have, of course they have them looking like so-called white people which we know that's that's that part is an error because when they came up out of the waters just like it says in Genesis 1 and 20 they had pigment all right and essentially that's pretty much how it happened okay now this is um, am I saying that this is the exact illustration of how it happened in Genesis the first chapter 20 verse of course not but this is pretty damn close okay we just came up right out of the waters that's why it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature our body is made up of what 70 percent water okay when a woman has a child before she gives birth what has to happen she has to break her water so all these uh, examples point to the fact that we came up out of the waters okay and we came up out of the waters as a large group of people okay and what happened was the Heavenly Father separated those people into groups hence the fact that I mentioned the three groups the sons of the power the sons of the wicked and the sons of men as a matter of fact this reminds me of a, a scripture here okay Deuteronomy the 32nd chapter and the 8th verse now before I read that all right before I read that let me go back to Genesis 1 and 20 okay and the power said let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life okay so you know that's talking about man and like I said to illustrate that even the group uh, Pink Floyd picked up on it illustrating individuals just coming right out the waters now those individuals were separated okay first before I read Genesis let me show you they were all called Adam first those individuals uh, that came up out the waters the book of Genesis 5 and 1 this is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that man in the day that the Most High created man which in what day was that well we just read it the, fi the fifth day okay this is the fifth day and those, those those individuals that came up out of the waters were called Adam because they came up out of the ground which the waters covered over the ground okay this is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that the Most High created man in the likeness of the Most High or the powers I should say in the day that the powers created man in the likeness of the powers made he him male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created which is the fifth day call their name there as in plural Adam which means from the ground because under the waters let's bring that illustration again under the waters you have ground and we just came up right out of the waters and I gave you analogies that prove we came out of the waters when a woman has a child before she gives birth her water has to break now the only thing wrong with this illustration is that they're showing so-called white people because of course the group Pink Floyd is so-called white people okay all right so they're gonna show them they're gonna show this illustration looking like them you know that's how the so-called white man gets down but in truth when those people came out the waters they had pigment okay so there it is all right uh, they were called what Adam now what happened to Adam Adam was separated okay let's go to that the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 8 
when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. So all these people that he created, you know, which would name Adam, they were separated into nations. Okay, remember, it is written, the Most High is a power of nations. And nations came by way of separation. Nations right there, right there, the fact that you have the term nations proves separation. Okay, and who initiated that? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Reading it right here, the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, because they were all called Adam. But out of out of those nations came the premier Adam, which would be Yahweh Shai, which that line of the premier Adam, Yahweh Shai, went on to be called the sons of the power, which went on to be called Israelites, which means he is a prince of power. Okay? In other words, the Lord, out of all the Adam, he separated a chosen people for himself. And I'm going to read that in the Apocrypha. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel, which really should say sons of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So out of all Adam, which we read about in Genesis 5 and 1, male and female created he them and called them Adam. That's all the nations, including the sons of power, he separated the sons of power from all the other nations. Okay? Because why? It tells you in the ninth verse. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. And this destroys this uh, idea uh, or ideology that the, all people are God's people. Even though the Heavenly Father created all people, all people are not God's people. The only people that are God's people are the sons of Israel. The children of Israel, which the word there is sons. The sons and daughters of Israel. They're the Lord's people. That's the Lord's portion. Now, let's even further prove that more in the Apocrypha. The book of Second Esdras, the 6th chapter, the 54th verse. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures... Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. We just read who those people were in Deuteronomy. Those people were Israelites, or are Israelites. Okay? All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. And that's why we're going to inherit the world once again when the sons of Esau, Edom, is taken down. The sons of the wicked, the sons of the serpent. When they're taken down, we are going to, we the sons of Israel, the sons of the power, we are going to rule this world again in righteousness. Okay? So essentially what's getting ready to happen is a change of worlds. This is why we say that we're in the end of the world, the end of the world of Esau, the end of the world of the wicked, which is ruling right now. When, when that world is ended, it will usher in the world of the righteous. And we're going to be ruling, beginning with Yahweh Shai. Which Yahweh Shai, another title for him, is the king of righteousness. Okay, so we're patiently, patiently waiting for that, man. All right? Um, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come of Adam. So if they came of Adam, they would be what? Adamites. There would be that generation of Adam that Genesis 5 and 1 speaks about. But remember, out of Adam, you had individuals that were separated okay, into different groups. So essentially, everybody was known as Adam in those days. Okay? As you see here, as for the other people which also come out of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing. And if you go in the book of uh Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the 17th verse, it clearly says, All nations before the Heavenly Father has, are as of nothing, or are as nothing. They're not His chosen people, but they came out of Adam. Okay? Thou hast said they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, spit that is, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Now, it's very hard to understand that, 
especially for the an individual that's not an Israelite. But it is what it is. The Heavenly Father has said it. As it is written, so let it be done. Okay? And me being a Hebrew Israelite, I got no problem with that. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is what it is. Okay? But the point is there. You know? We all came out of Adam, but out of Adam was separated the true Adam. The chosen Adam, which later became known as the sons of power. And later became known as the Israelites. So now when you understand all of that, then Genesis 3 and 8 begins to make sense. That these are not talking about actual trees, but people that were in the garden. The generations of Adam that we read about in Genesis the 5th chapter. Okay? And this Adam here was the chosen Adam. The people that would uh, go on to be the chosen people of the Lord, okay, which are the Israelites, all right, so hopefully, I know you brothers that uh, have been in the faith, I know you understand that completely, but uh, you novices, now, now you understand why the use of the word trees here is talking about other people, now you understand it was a lot more than just Adam and Eve, that there were a group of people called Adam, okay, all right, so with that ended there, you know, did my best to edify in a succinct manner. This is Great Millstone Mailbag here to feed the elect. It's edification time. And um, I'll see you in the next edition of the mailbag. Shalom to the hopeful elect.